Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the topic light. Light is a form of invisible energy. Light itself is invisible but makes the things visible. Imagine at night times when the power cuts off, it becomes so difficult for us to find the things around us. So it's very important part of our life. The speed of light denoted with letter C is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second or you can say 3 lakhs kilometer per second. There are two sources of light, natural source of light and artificial source of light. Example of natural sources is sun, stars, glowworms. An example of artificial light is bulb, candle, torch. Sources of natural light is also called as self-luminous bodies. Luminous bodies means which gives the light energy by themselves. Example, sun gives its own light, stars, glowworm, etc. Non-luminous bodies which do not which do not give the light energy by themselves, but they reflect the light energy falling on them. The moon shines because it reflects the sun's light. We are able to see the flower in the daytime because it reflects the sun's light. And the chair in the night time because it reflects the bulb light and reaches the, the light reaches our eye. Now let us discuss few terms related to light. Optical medium. The medium through which light energy passes wholly or partially is called as optical medium. Example, vacuum, air, etc. Homogeneous medium. The medium, it's an optical medium which has uniform composition. Uniform composition means all the particles are equally distributed. Example, in water, the water is made up of only one kind of molecule that is H2O. It's the, these molecules are equally distributed. Similarly, in diamond, we have carbon. The carbon atoms are equally distributed. So the uniform composition thing is called as homogeneous medium. Now the opposite of this, that is heterogeneous medium, which do not have uniform composition. Example, air and muddy water. In addition to this, we have three other mediums, that is transparent medium, translucent medium and opaque bodies. Transparent medium which allows most of the light energy to pass through them. Example is vacuum and air. Translucent medium which partially allows light energy to pass through them. Example oil paper, tissue paper, butter paper etc. Opaque bodies which do not allow the light energy to pass through them. Example bricks, wood, furniture etc. Now uh, let us see what is point source of light. The light obtained by keeping the bulb inside the box is called as, this whole thing is called as point source of light. Extended source of light. The extended source of light is bigger than point source of light. Example, electric bulb, tube light, etc. The next term is ray of light. The path along which the light energy travels in a particular direction is called as ray of light. Next term, beam of light. The collection of number of ray of light is called as beam of light. Parallel beam of light. If the beam of light travels parallel to each other, this thing is called as parallel beam of light. The next term is convergent beam. The rays of light coming from different directions, if they meet at a point, that is called as convergent beam of light. When parallel beam of light is made to pass through convex lens, we get a convergent beam of light. Divergent beam. The rays of light originating from a point and traveling in different directions is called as Divergent beam of light. Example, bulb, burning candle or a car headlight constitute a divergent beam of light. By this we end our topic, light.